What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing an install video on my 07 Mustang GT. We are installing the Boss 302 strut tower brace from LMR Late Model Restoration. If you guys are interested in the strut tower brace, I will leave a link in the description to LMR with this exact strut tower brace so you guys can get one for yourself. Oh. Oh. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Shoot! 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 Oh, other side. Shoot! <laughs> Uh, I see man. Oh, she's deep. All right, I know the engine's dirty. Um, I'm gonna do an engine bay cleaning video maybe this weekend. It's just so hot out. But yeah, engine bay cleaning video is gonna come soon. Um, so the strut tower brace, basically, if you guys don't know where it goes or what it does, it mounts from this strut tower, bridges over the motor, and mounts to this strut tower, and it's supposed to stiffen up the front end so it handles a little better. It's a super easy, super quick install. It's literally four bolts. So you're gonna start off by taking one side and both bolts off. And just keep them somewhere where you know where they're at so you don't lose them because you actually need these. Get that tricep in there. So now that all four of those are removed, all it is is you grab your strut tire brace, this one has arrows pointing which way it should go. Make sure those arrows are pointing towards the front of your car. And then just set, line it up on one side like that. And then line it up on the other side. And literally, it is almost done. All you gotta do is put your four bolts on and that's it. So we're gonna do that right now. When you tighten these down, you wanna make sure you tighten them down evenly on both sides as you go. You don't wanna crank one side down super tight and leave the other side. So basically, I'm making these sides just snug right now, and I'm gonna go to the other side and tighten it down too, because otherwise it could be uneven, and one side could be more prone to coming loose than the other. So just snug them down so you get an even fit. Then come back to the other side and then really tighten them down. You want these really tight, because these are what hold your strut in, and if these come loose and your strut can come off, and that can be really bad. So you just want to make sure these are on good. So that side's good. Come back to the other side. Really, just like that. That is how you install a strut tire brace on an 07 Mustang, or really any S197 Mustang, or honestly any car. Like any Mustang, it's this simple. It's really four bolts. You undo them put your strut tire brace over and put it back on and then you're gonna have better handling and it's gonna dress your engine bay up. It makes your engine look a lot nicer. Like my engine bay look kind of, it looks bad, like I'm not gonna lie. I've done nothing to it besides like this cold air intake. I literally have nothing in here. Like no, I never had a strut tire brace. I don't have painted parts. I don't have any of that. But you add the strut tire brace and it makes your car look a lot cooler, a lot cleaner. So if you pop your hood at a meter or whatever, doesn't look as stock as it actually is. A couple things I didn't mention and didn't do in the video. Um, first thing is when you put these bolts back on, make sure you put them on straight. Cause if you put them on crooked and you strip those threads or you cross thread them, that's gonna be a big issue cause you need these threads for your struts. Cause otherwise it is very unsafe to drive your car and you don't wanna be doing that with strip threads. Also, this is something I didn't do, but I will go back and do once I get some. I forgot to get it. Is put some medium strength thread locker on here just because these take a lot of vibrations from bumps in the road and turns, and there's a lot of action going on in these strut tower, the bolts. So make sure you guys put some medium strength thread locker on there just to keep those bolts locked on there so that there's not, um, they don't vibrate and come loose because that could also be a big issue. There you guys have it. As you can see, there's the Boss 302 strut tower brace mounted up on my 07 Mustang. Like I said, cleans the engine bay really well. Looks a lot better than have nothing there. And I want to see how it handles. I can't wait to get out and drive it and see if I really notice a difference in it. All right, guys, we're going to go for a drive and see if the strut tower brace actually made a difference in this car or not. So let's go do that right now. I do actually, there is a little bit tighter. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I can feel it being like. It doesn't feel as like loose. Let's see. No, it, there is definitely a big difference. I didn't think I was gonna know. Guys, honestly, I did this more for looks. I didn't actually think this was gonna be a difference, but I really do feel a difference in this. Holy 
cow, that's actually crazy. actually do struts and rear shocks on this car too just because I'm putting springs on why not do it all at once so once I get the struts and springs this car I can't wait to see how it handles it's probably gonna handle incredible compared to how it is it was stock all right so we are in a neighborhood right now like an abandoned neighborhood and we're gonna just see how this handles on some turns here's a little cola set. oh my god this makes a huge difference <laughs> we tripped it out here boy <laughs> Adam LZ, I'm coming for you! Adam LZ, I'm coming for you! <laughs> that was raw, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's see how it does on this turn here. We're just gonna get on it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Huge difference. Your body moves with it more, I think. Yeah. Like, it's just all... Let's see. I'm so glad I did this. Installing a strut tower brace on your Mustang really makes a huge difference. I noticed it just driving around the neighborhood and like kind of like spirited driving through some curvy little abandoned roads and everything. So if you guys are looking to do this, the Boss 302 strut tower brace that I installed on my car is going to be linked in the description. If you guys want it, click the link, go ahead and get it. So that is going to be it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Comment down below what other handling parts or what other parts I should put on this car in general. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload a bunch of times throughout the week. It's on cars and motorsports and everything else in between. So consider hitting that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace!